What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the month of maybes where we're gonna upload a video every single day in May and maybe we'll do something cool. So right now we're heading over to my buddy's house. He has a Scion FRS, a V8 swap and a Chevy Spark that uh, we need to kind of help him move and store for a little bit because he's actually moving out of his house. So uh, we're gonna head over there and uh, I'll show you when we get there. We make the streams. We are pulling up, buddy. Here we are. Pillow, he got his uh, yard cleaned up looking great. Last time I was here, the weeds are about three foot tall. This is what we're here for, boys. What do they say? A friend in need is a friend indeed? Right? Right. Uh, yeah. I had a sign that said Motion Auto Deals, but it blew away. I heard you got a junkyard to store stuff at, man. Yeah, so uh, this is my buddy Chris. He was helping us out a lot with the Ranger Challenge. So he has some of his own projects that he has in his house, but he's essentially moving, you can tell by the U-Haul. Look at yeah. that, the U-Haul. There it is. We're moving and then moving. Then he's moving to like a temporary house and then he's gonna end up moving out of state, Yeah. which is pretty sad because you do this all the time. Biscuit's wife, she has a job, they move a lot yeah. because of that. Pretty much. That's yeah. pretty much it. <laughs> so this is a 2014 Spark. In 14, they had the most torque, which is 400 foot pounds. It's an EV. Uh, it goes fully, like so full, full electric. 100% electric. Yeah, it goes like 85 to 90 miles on a charge. Front wheel drive, obviously. Pretty small, so 400 foot pounds of torque. It feels pretty good in this little car. I mean, it's not crazy. It's I not was gonna... watching a video on it last night, and there was a guy. He said like the whole time that it's accelerating, it just feels like it's like getting ready to like lose traction. 400 foot pounds of torque. That's uh, that's pretty crazy. Any channel locks? So we're gonna end up. We're just storing this thing at the shop for a little while. I don't have any room for any other projects. I don't have enough money for other projects right now. And honestly, during this month, we're basically just planning on selling a bunch of things. So this right here is uh, the FRS. It's an automatic, it has a rod knock. It was wrecked in the rear end, had like a slight little tap back there. So we already replaced this thing and then the, the trunk lid. But in his garage, he actually has a L86, which is the new like gen, I think it's a gen six like Chevy LS, but I guess it's a Gen 1 LT motor. I don't know, I don't know anything about the LTs, uh, but it's an LT86 and with, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so it's an L86, so it's a 6.2 liter out of like a 2016 uh, like Cadillac Escalade. And he actually has the 10 speed automatic transmission, which is like the same one that's in like a ZL1 Camaro. And his whole plan was to put this thing in the FRS with the paddle shifters and everything and basically have like a 600 like you know, flywheel, horsepower, 6.2 with a cam, basically he's gonna delete the cam or the displacement on de demand and then do the VCT stuff on it. So it'll still have like a VCT cam. And so that was kind of his plan, but again, he's gonna be moving. So uh, I think he's gonna end up trying to sell some of this stuff here soon, but essentially he just needs to get it out of here so that way they can move. We're just gonna help him store some stuff. He might work on the Volt, or not the Volt, the Spark a little bit at the shop before he leaves. Maybe he'll, he'll try to sell that. But uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna help him out and get some of this stuff loaded up. Motion Auto storage. We got a storage facility now. What do you think about that? Hey, Chris, what is that subframe for? Uh, maybe that's for putting uh, that motor in the FRS. You already bought the subframe for it? Oh yeah. How much were you wanting for all this stuff? Um, don't tell me. I don't, yeah. I don't need to worry about it. I was Just, told I'm not allowed to, to talk to you about this. What else? We got to store the engine stand for you too, right? You do have to store the engine and the hoist. Engine stand, the hoist, the subframe, the wheels, the tires, the... Yeah. You know, you're not picking up an FRS without, or a vehicle without it knocking. So, just like to let you know, it's already knocking for you. So, will that, will that fit down in there? Beautiful. Let's see if she fires up. Oh. It gets going. Oh, then it's fine. Well, oh, clear it up. Yeah. There's no knock. Yep. 
That's how you know it's, it's tight. It's good and tight. Jesus. It's got a little is the e-brake on? Maybe it's got that much torque. It does. It's got 400. Nice. This thing's got more torque than a Ferrari Ford 8, 488. Yeah. Did you see that commercial yeah. they had? I watched yeah. that video. Dude, I think it was 458, right? Can you come work on this thing before you leave? Because I want to fill what 400 yeah. foot-pounds of torque feels like. You just, you want me to fix it so then you could like buy it for me for less than I got into it, probably. Maybe. Yeah. All right, guys. So we just finished up loading up the cars. Now we're just going to take them out to uh, take them to the shop, get them unloaded, put them in a, a spot where they're not going to be in, in the way for a while. That's about it. We got to stop and get some uh, $5.40 a gallon diesel fuel. It's crazy because like that spark, you know, it's fully e full EV and it would probably try cost you like a dollar or two to drive it like 70 miles that would be a great thing but it's like a great thing to sell right now so i don't know depending on what what chris ends up doing i think he's going to come and try to fix it a little bit and then probably sell it or maybe he's going to keep it he has a tesla too so that's why he likes those things and i think initially his plan is he wanted to pull the battery pack out of that and then like the motor and all kinds of other stuff and then do like a swap in something which would be kind of cool too we're just storing it for now and uh, we got to get to the shop and i want to try to figure out what's wrong with the other scion see if we could get that thing listed maybe today or tomorrow because uh, I have too much stuff. Well, somebody said, I think on the, the last video yesterday and maybe the video tomorrow, the month of maybe is every single day upload, that this should be like the month of like fix and flips, which I think would be good. Is like basically just kind of focus around the shop on like gathering parts, establishing a plan for the like the R32, the R35, and essentially just getting everything ready to like sell slash work on Plus like set up the paint booth, set up the lifts, get everything ready so that way like as soon as June hits, it's just like full steam ahead, back to working on like the legit projects and stuff that we want to build. I mean, what you guys think of that idea? I, I like that idea, right? Cause I mean, it's just, it's such a weird month. Like we don't, nothing's set up. We're waiting on parts, we're waiting on stuff. I haven't ordered anything for the R32. We can't do anything. So I wanted to pull the engine out of it or drop it down before we did anything else. So I don't know, we got, uh, we got a lot of stuff to figure out, but that's, that's why, uh, you know, it's the month of May, month of maybe. All right, Sean, how did she tow? Right, it doesn't weigh much on it. Well, well it's kind of heavy because of the batteries, but it's just so, so cool, it just feels a little cool. Yeah, I mean, it is, it's a tiny, tiny little car. So this is my original tow dolly. But you know how many cars this thing's towed? Probably a few. Quite a few. Yeah. It's actually done a lot, pretty much. I mean, I've probably towed like 200 and some freaking cars with this thing. And then how you've, you you've probably towed like another 50. It just sits on there and it works. Feel the torque in this thing, though. Oh, buddy, what happened? What happened? And I know you're not trying to do that because that's what that was doing. That was what. 400 foot pounds. Oh. Doesn't even knock. We can put it on the engine stand. Sean, do we have a bolt? Somewhere over there in that blue. All right, so these things are getting the VIP treatment there. They're under our porch right now. We got these, they're under the porch. Sean did a little burnout when we pulled up over here. This is a, such an interesting car. It's a cool car. I've always wanted one of these things. Like back probably like three or four years ago before I got the Mustang, it was either a choice between the S550 Mustang for the next drift car, or I was gonna do one of these, uh, one of these 86s. So I don't know, they're, they're just good looking cars. And then, so actually the first car that I drove on the road course was 
Chris's blue BRZ and then he sold it. But that's kind of what this car got. This is the car that got me hooked on the road course. All right, so just left the shop. I have to uh, run into town and register some vehicles. Got to go to the DMV. I've had an appointment. It's stupid, but you have to like register an appointment. I think we're the only county in Colorado where you actually have to like make an appointment online and it's two months out to go and register a vehicle or do anything like that. So like new title, new registration, any of that stuff. So if you buy something, you basically just drive it around. I guess if you get pulled over, you tell them you have an appointment. I haven't been pulled over yet, but uh, I guess it's kind of nice because then you, you don't have to register, you don't have to pay for it. But uh, as long as you got insurance, it should be okay. But the crazy thing is like they started issuing tickets like two weeks ago the police department or whatever they've been bragging about it on Facebook that there's like giving over like over a thousand citations in a weekend but you can't even get an appointment you can but it's two months out to go get your car registered or whatever so it's just kind of crazy a little bit silly all right guys so we uh we ended up getting the plates and everything so I got them got the r32 in my name got some the is 300 giveaway winner got that in the business name and we do have a beautiful courthouse, but uh, it just looks like it wants to take your money. And that's pretty much exactly what they do. Got the R35 in my name and got plates and all that stuff for it too. Pretty stoked about that. Now we're gonna head back, uh, I think we're just gonna head back to my house. Might go for a cruise. Actually, I updated the registration on the Supra. It has, I guess it's been expired for over a year. So that was like a $100 late fee. We might go cruise that thing tonight. I wanna go drive one of the cars, maybe the 35 or maybe the Supra or maybe the wagon or maybe something. I definitely want to drive something. So we're back at my house from the courthouse. These things, I, I basically bought these. We did buy some stuff from Chris today. Out here in the shop sometimes like, it would be nice. Obviously there's some things that don't run or a pain in the butt to run like to get started like the Datsun and the Civic and some of that other stuff. So a set of these four wheel dollies, then you just jack whatever you're doing up and then you push it out of the way, you know, and we got it, we got a full set of four. So. Sorry about that. Sean needs some new shirts for work, right? Well, just in general, like all my ones that I got are for like a year old and they're wore out and paint and crap on them, holes in them. So, so we need to, to we need to get Sean some fresh t-shirts. And now, now that the normally. giveaway is over and pretty much all of the orders are fulfilled, I think there's only a couple shirts. We were waiting on some larges, so we ordered some new blanks. So now we have some fresh blanks. Letting the heat presses warm up, we're gonna make some uh, some quick shirts real quick, right? Yeah. Real, real quick. Right? Real quick, like a yard to get to. So, so here's, here's, remember the TRD retro sticker? These yeah. are all my favorite so, bugs. Oh, did you make those bugs? Yeah. What, it, what are they? This is a caterpillar. This, this is an ant. Yeah, this is an ant, and this is a spider, and this is a ladybug, and this is a roly poly. Oh, that's beautiful. I like it. So, we got a little artist right here. Maybe she can make us some t shirt designs later. So, we, we turned the TRD retro sticker into a t shirt. Check that out. This is motion. We have oh, wait, a, that's a transfer? Yeah, so this is heat transfer. Oh. And then, so that will be, we could make some of those. Here's another one. We haven't put this on the website yet. Uh, that one's cool. That one's, and then this is a, like a, a center chest one. This one's not on the website yeah. yet either. Oh no, it's not. I've seen and shirts then, like that though. Well, we've well, seen, we, we've we seen had it done previously. And then let's see, we got the swipe shirt, motion auto with the green. I like that one or yeah. the little uh, geometric shirt. Those are all kind of the new ones. We have some 1J ones if you want the IS300 one. Oh, this is another one that's not on there yet. Look at that one. Is that that's the HKS? HKS yeah. print. I and can't that's find it. that. Oh, and then we got the Motion Auto Fun Rug. The same size as the Supreme, like the actual Supreme mm -hmm. one. So it's the same. All right, so what we do for the t-shirts is we got a little hat press right here. We just go like that. And what is this? Do a little heat. So this is a heat press. And then uh, this is essentially a heat transfer. So this is a Plastisol ink transfer. So essentially, you just take that, take that guy right there. And this is for the tags? For the size tags, yeah. This is pretty much what everybody does when they get a shirt, is they just get a blank, they rip the tag off it, they put their name on it, and then here you go. So now, we got Motion Auto premium quality goods. Wow. And then, you just take the tag right here. There's a technique to this, if you don't do it right. You gotta like grab it kind of hard and then do it fast. Uh-oh. Motion wow. Auto, custom quality goods. Then you come right here. So this is a shirt that we need to make for, this is, we, we literally only needed one large shirt, um, but I ordered a couple extras so that way we do it. This is kind of an inefficient way of doing the giveaways and stuff. We tried it this last time. It kind of worked, but it was just kind of, we got like backed up at the end just cause 
If, if we had all the blanks and all the designs right away, we could have done it consistently. And then we had some people that were working for us and then they ended up not showing up. And then I ended up coming out here at night and doing it. So we got to heat Real up. Real late at night. Yeah, until like two in the morning, like for like a week straight, uh, just to make finish making the shirts, making the shirts. So you heat, heat it up. Then come over here. This is the Run One Jay Z shirt. See that one's like damaged right there. That like little thing. So you just got to pay attention, or else you ruin a shirt. Basically, you just got to get her on here, line her up, make sure she's nice and straight. I kind of have like a line that I use off of here. Is it a shadow? It's the shadow of the the thing. You pull her down. <coughs> oh, yeah, let her rip. This it's is just like that. And that's one that you peel hot. Some hot of them off the press. Some some of them you peel uh, peel cold. Some of them you peel hot. We got a little order right here. I was just missing missing one large one run, one Jay Z shirt. So now that's ready to go. And then what you do? Is you come over here. You grab the little folder. So if you guys got some of the shirts last giveaway is there's a good chance that I made him there you go fold it up shove it in a bag kick it out the door ready on three ready yeah that was sick good job Carson go ahead. I think good I'd job. like you to have one of these So we got Charles all loaded up with some extra goods, right? One Jay-Z shirt. I got some stuff for my homies. I got some stuff for the girlfriend. Got it all. Man, you're blind, I'm, you're I'm, blind filming right now. I made me a custom t-shirt right there. So that's the only one. Actually, I made a Sean one too. But uh, some couple other friends, some gifting shirts. But uh, yeah, overall, Carson, what do you think? Carson, what's your favorite car that I have? What's my favorite car? What's your favorite car? Oh, mine. Okay. All right, guys, so now we're wrapping up the night. We're supposed to be editing this video right now, right, Charles? But what happened? Uh, I'm a clown and left the hard drive at the shop. He was also falling asleep earlier when he was editing it. But you know what we haven't done is we haven't done a cold start on this thing. You want to... Your neighbor's going to hate you. This here. You... This thing's pretty... The cold start on this thing's pretty serious. I don't think I've ever heard a cold start. Right, guys, so that wraps up another day of, uh, of maybes here at Motion Auto. Uh, DTR is great. It's a great daily. That thing, I'm excited about that though. I like, I kind of want to drive it before we take it apart, but then I kind of just want to take it apart, you know? I want to, I want like a taste of it before we take it apart. Appreciate you guys watching. If you like these videos, hit that uh, thumbs up. See you tomorrow.